Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this one. I'm going to go ahead and get right to it. Right now I'm looking to position the boat over some schools of bait. You can see I'm looking. We just came off of the school and I'm looking to get back on it. There's a slight chop on the water, which is good for us because we can use our electronics to find the bait. And there aren't, you know, tons and tons of boats all over the, the bait schools. When it's slick, you can see the bait from a long distance. So there's a lot of people on it. So it's kind of nice on days like this. We kind of have it all to ourselves. And uh, you can see I'm looking. You know, we found this school early with our side scan. Set some waypoints. And although it's been moving, as long as we set a waypoint, each time we make a drift, we can stay along with that school. I don't want to anchor in this situation. I don't want to use spot lock or anchor lock because the school is moving. We have uh, some current here and, and everything is moving. So what I'm doing is I'm looking to set the boat way in front of the school and let the wind take us right over it so uh it's a few hundred feet past the school i want to give everyone time to uh, get their lines in and, and find the depth they want and when i get where i want to start drifting i'll turn the boat here you see me turn the boat to the right and everyone will uh, let their baits down on the port side so they scope away from us you could use any bait you want here i know you guys have seen a lot of videos of the spoons but in this type of fishing uh it's hard to use anything else when we're fishing thick bait schools because they'll snag the baits. You really got to get your bait down in the last few feet, you know, below the bottom of the bait school and the bottom uh, of the uh, bay, you know. So we got to stay in that last few feet underneath. Otherwise, you just snag bait all day. Now, the bass are just swimming along with these schools of bait, waiting for their opportunity. Any uh, bait, show, bait fish shows any signs of distress or, you know, it's struggling, it's gone, you know. So... These uh, spoons do a really good job of looking like a dying, struggling bait, fluttering down, and uh, it's really a great way to catch these fish, and uh, that's why you see so many videos of it. Uh, so uh, check this out. This is totally uncut, guys. I know a lot of you asked for this, so I thought I'd post a few more of these. It kind of gives you a real life uh, you know, feeling of what it's like on the water. It might be a little boring here at first, but the action gets pretty good, and you can see uh, exactly how we do it. Uh, but take your time, man. The, the lesson here is to take your time and position the boat. If you're cruising a marked fish and just slam it lines down, guys, uh, you know, that can work sometimes. And you'll catch a few fish, but you'll spend more time repositioning because you're going to get off of that school so quick. So the idea is take your time, position the boat so everyone has a good amount with a good amount of time with lines in. We don't want to have to keep firing it up, firing it up, firing it up. Take your time, position before submission. My sons took uh, jiu-jitsu for many years, and their coach always told them, position before submission. Take your time, get in the right spot before you go for the kill, and uh, it, it applies here, you know. So uh, take your time on the water. I know your guys on your boat are going to be fired up when they see fish on the screen and they want to drop them down. Take your time, position that boat so everyone has maximum time over the good water. And, uh, I really do appreciate you guys watching these guys. Please throw a like on this. Subscribe if you haven't. It really does help me out, and I can do more and more of these videos. If you have any questions, put them in the comments. I try to answer every single one. Uh, if I somehow miss your comment, pop it up there again. I'll get to you. Uh, I promise. It might take me a little while, but I will answer every single comment if I can. Thank you, guys. Love you. Mean it.
boats in on us now, right now. And more coming. More coming. And, and Big jag in front of you. Most of the time, you're not going to 
lot of things in deep water that make a few hundred yards and target the shallow. Have you ever thrown a cast net over these and had the bait swim out of the net? You know how hard it is to get and these baits have a lot of room to swim. The shallower it is, the easier it is to get fast to catch these baits, and that's where we're gonna go, that's where we go. Reposition this 
that guy's gonna go right past you on them.
Yeah. 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 